Uh, thanks uh, again. Sorry. Uh, good afternoon. Uh, so this joint work with um, Alessandro Tale, Anazaki, and Frank Walter on free description logics with different descriptions. Um, so broadly speaking, we were interested in um, uh, referring expressions that in linguistics are noun phrases that can be used to refer to a single object in a given context. And um, uh, typically, they can be either individual names like Ezra, uh, KR19, KR21, uh, or um, definite descriptions that are expressions of the form uh, the general chair of KR21, or the program chair of KR21, uh, or the banquet of KR21. And uh, uh, compared to individual names uh, only, um, uh, more general referring expressions have the advantage of being. Uh, more flexible and transparent when uh, describing and when, you know, when, when used to describe and identify objects. And uh, they uh, allow us to um, uh, also the, the device, they, they have been uh, studied in, in, in KR to, de uh, to devise systems that, in which we can address the problem of uh, object identifiers that remain obscure to end users. Um, so the, the goals of the of our paper um, were twofold. On the one hand, we wanted to include uh, referring expressions as uh, terms in ontology languages um, and uh, by description logic based ontology languages. And on the other hand, we um, uh, wanted to uh, find um, uh, meaningful definite descriptions in order to replace possibly uninformative uh, individual names uh, in, uh, in, in ontologies. Um, the main challenges related to uh, these goals uh, are that, well, on, the, uh, on one side, of course, uh, referring expressions uh, may not denote any object at all. This is a well-known behavior. So, for example, we have uh, denoting uh, ex uh, referring expressions such as Ezra, KR21, the general chair of KR21, uh, but also non-denoting ones like the name uh, KR19 or the, uh, the descriptions the, the program chair, or unfortunately, the banquet of KR21. And uh, one first big question is, uh, which would be the, the best semantics to be used in order to handle uh, with these uh, situations, since uh, uh, typically uh, formalisms based on classical logics uh, do not treat uh, terms that uh, uh, are not uh, referring to any object uh, in the domain. And he said it's something it's well studied in the free logic literature. And uh, on, the other, on the other side, uh, in order to be able to find meaningful de the definite descriptions to replace uh, uninformative individual names, of course, of a, step, uh, a first step is to be able to decide whether uh, there exists a definite description for an individual name in an ontology. And this has um, connections with um, so-called projective bad definability property, which is property enjoyed by uh, several logics, most notably first order logic, but it's not always so easy. In particular, if we want to uh, restrict the uh, possible referring expressions to uh, some uh, description logic uh, languages in which this property is actually uh, not known, known to, to, to fail. Um, so our main contributions are uh, were, were the following. So on the, side of uh, description logic, we, um, uh, the languages, we uh, developed uh, uh, languages in which uh, in the syntax, we allow for both uh, individual names and definite descriptions such as uh, the C written Yota C, where C is a concept uh, as both uh, uh, terms, uh, uh, authentic terms of the language. And semantically, these languages are interpreted uh, by using a generalization of classical interpretations that are um, um, total on concept and broad names as usual, but partial on uh, individual names, meaning that only a subset of the uh, whole set of individual names is mapped to uh, elements of the domain. And we have studied uh, the connections with uh, also other semantics and known from the literature based on other uh, um, dual uh, domain structures in which we have a set of pos uh, possibly existent objects and a subset of actually existing ones. Uh, and uh, these are semantics that are proposed based on free logic semantics and proposed also for uh, description logic languages. On the side of reasoning tasks, um, 
um, we have uh, studied the complexity of the classical ontology space viability and entailment problems. And moreover, we have considered the um, uh, referring, uh, referring expression existence problem that can be uh, formulated as follows. So given a pair uh, of logics, L and LR, we want to uh, be able to decide for an uh, L ontology, an individual name and a signature, whether uh, there exists um, um, a concept expressed by using the symbols in the signature, um, an LR concept expressed using uh, symbols in that signature, uh, such, as, such that it stands uh, for um, a description of the uh, individual name, meaning that under that ontology, uh, we have that, uh, that concept uh, is equivalent to uh, the nominal um, uh, for that uh, individual name. And we have studied the complexity uh, of this problem where we can vary the background uh, logic L and the uh, referring expression uh, language LR. Uh, um, so this is the main uh, message. You can actually stop listening now, hoping that my connection is still on and you're actually listening to me right now. Um, uh, but, but let me give you very briefly some uh, more details. You can come uh, to, to, the, to the poster if you want later. Um, uh, so the languages that we have introduced uh, are uh, actually, okay, so based on the, uh, we have introduced the ALCO U Yota language based on the classical ALCO language in which we have in addition, uh, well, the universal role and uh, uh, nominals that can be based either on individual names as usual or on the terms uh, uh, that are definite descriptions of the form uh, yota c where c is a, is a concept uh, and uh, the, um, uh, the we have also considered the language yellow u yota that is obtained from a c o u yota by uh, disallowing negation and allowing for the top and bottom concepts and as i said the uh, um, the semantics is given uh, in terms of partial interpretation that general, generalize the notion of classical interpretation by um, letting the uh, only a, a subset of individual name to, to be uh, to, to be interpreted. Uh, so we allow for uh, uh, some individual names to be uh, left uninterpreted, and similarly, uh, we can treat um, definite description that fail to pick a single object in the domain as terms that are uh, left uh, undefined. Um, so reasoning uh, in, in, uh, in ASCO U Yota um, is, uh, well, ASCO U Yota ontology satisfiability we have that is uh, extra incomplete. Uh, we use a technique that is reminiscent of a classical uh, 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 elimination uh, paraphrased by Russell and by uh, adapting the, 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 some results for ELO, uh, we were also able to show that entailment in a ELO U Yota is uh, p-time complete. Uh, in order to address the problem of referring expression existence, we have also de developed a notion of uh, by simulation for uh, ALCO U Yota uh, that uh, allowed us to show that uh, ASCO U Yota concept actually uh, 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 captured the fragment uh, of uh, uh, first order logic that is invariant under this notion of uh, dissimulation. And uh, we have also obtained, uh, uh, well, some, as I mentioned, some uh, complexity results on the referring expression existence problem in which we vary the background uh, uh, language and the language in which we want to express our uh, description of an individual. Um, uh, in particular, if we allow for uh, full first order logic as a language for referring expressions and there's background ontology, uh, we have uh, ontology language, we have ALCO U Yota, then the referring expression existing is x -band complete. Um, it is in P time if the background language is yellow Yota and the referring expression language is first order. 
uh, but we uh, go to two extant completeness if we restrict the expression, referring expression language to be ALCO U Yota as the um, uh, background uh, ontology language, and we uh, reach uh, undecidability if we moreover uh, restrict to a referring expression uh, language that is yellow U Yota with a background uh, ontology language that is uh, ALCO U Yota. And, we have a partial minute left. In, in, yeah, thank you. Uh, in in time result for um, uh, yellow U Yota referring to this existing problem, in which we have individuals. We assume further than individuals the node with respect to the ontology. And as I mentioned, we have also considered languages from the literature uh, um, and uh, on free description logics. Uh, that are based on a different kind of semantics, dual domain semantics with a, an outer domain of possible existence object and an inner domain of uh, actually existing ones, uh, on top of which we can def it's possible to define several semantics, positive semantics and negative semantics with different behaviors. And uh, we were able to show that uh, formula satisfiability in this language interpreted on uh, dual domain interpretations under either positive or negative semantics can be reduced to ontology satisfiability in our language uh, on partial interpretations. As future work, uh, well, we uh, would like to uh, polish, uh, extend a bit some results, in particular on ELO U Yota uh, and ELO U Yota referring existence, um, referring expression existence problem. And we also would like to look at more a practical uh, automated support for referring expression generations. Of course, this uh, decision probably is, is a first step in, the, in that direction, but there's much to, uh, to be done. And we also would like to uh, look at uh, temporalized versions of free description logics with different descriptions in which we can have uh, referring expressions that can behave non-rigidly across uh, time. So as uh, uh, non-rigid uh, designators. The, um, and yeah, that's it. I think I think I'm on time. 